The other issue that I would like to hear Mr. Conklin speak on is um, when we've looked at the issue of the evacuation um, and the risk assessment, um, I, obviously there are long-term issues uh, with respect to areas that have been evacuated. And I'm unfamiliar with the extent to which your planning goes past the issue of attempting to protect the public by their evacuation and goes into the issue of the emergency response in an area once a release has occurred. If the public is evacuated and your plans work, how far down the path does your plan go in addressing the issue that's been impacted, the area that's been impacted? The current plans um, for those areas, there, there's a couple of plans that come into play. One is the Federal Radiological Emergency Response Plan. That is then supported by the Federal Response Plan and, and all of the infrastructure that goes along with that. If we were to get to a point where we actually evacuated people and had contamination in an area, um, we would re re fall back on and utilize the Federal Response Plan to put together a response that could address whatever contamination is present, develop plans and procedures for removing that decontamination, cleaning the area up, and as soon as reasonable, returning people back to the area. Obviously, the amount of time that would take would depend on the amount of contamination present. What kind of isotopes are there? What were the kind of areas that were affected? And those, and a lot of site unique um, characteristics that would have to take into effect. But we would fall back and use the federal response plan as a as a responding plan. Have you, have, assuming then there's an area where they where there are individuals that cannot return, have you done modeling as to what it would be necessary uh, to support? a population that has been dislocated? Not specifically to Indian Point. Uh, several years ago, I know the EPA did some modeling to determine what it would take to evacuate people, support them, house them, feed them, um, um, economic impacts and things like that, but we didn't do it for any particular site. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Tierney. Thank you for your patience.